In stage 43, we're going to be testing Robbie's right arm assembly. And for this, you're going to need the right arm assembly, the battery that we charged in stage 41, the board that came with this stage, the micro SD card from stage 42, and two four millimeter M2 screws from stage 41. Now to start off with, take the SD card, making sure you've got it the right way so that Robbie's facing you, but also in that position, and then press the SD card in as far as it goes without pushing too hard, because we don't want to damage any of the contacts, okay? Once we've done that, you will then take the board, making sure that the SD card is as close in the up position to the servo and then taking two of the four millimeter M2 screws, screw that down into position. And once you've done that, take the connector from the servo and then connect that into channel 5B which is the center channel of the five connectors like so. And then get your battery and you're gonna connect your battery to this connection here. And once you do that, Robbie's arm will start to move, testing all the servos in certain positions. Okay, so we'll plug that in. Do it again. Okay, once you're happy with that, disconnect it. Okay, and any problems, refer to the troubleshooting in your instructions about dismantling and checking the connections and the servo IDs. Okay, once you've done that, reassemble and test again. And that completes this stage. In stage 44, we're going to be preparing Robbie's left ankle servo and also test his left arm. And for that, you are going to need the servo that came with this stage. And you're also going to need the 135 millimeter long servo cable, which we fitted with a protective pad back in stage 37. So once again, undo the four screws. Okay, take the four screws out for the time being. Safely put those aside as with the cap, and then with the servo and the protective pad, we're then going to connect that to the connection, like so, and then taking the test shoulder, making sure that we're switched off. Place that into position and then we're going to be setting the servo with an ID of 10. Okay, so once again, taking the servo, taking the tester, we'll turn it on and then we want it to be on number 10. So as you can see there, it's on number 10 and then we hold test until it flashes then let go. Once that's finished, finished flashing press it again and the servo goes from left to right 
and then back to the center. Now, carefully turn off the shoulder tester, which we dismantled, taken it off, put the protective cover back on, fit the four screws, like so. Do that to all four corners. And then once we've fitted all of those, we then take the ankle tape, once again, as we've done before, carefully removing the ankle tape. Like so. And then making sure that that is along the top and follows the line but don't go over the join because we're going to be removing that later like so okay now we'll put that to the side once again we then need to get the tester from the right side carefully removing the connection Undo the two M2 four millimeter screws and carefully remove the board from Robbie's right arm assembly. Once you've done that, we need to retrieve CPU board. Notice the position of how the board sits and then carefully attach the board with the two screws like so. Once you've done that, take Robbie's left shoulder assembly and we're going to be placing that into the connector that says CN5A. Once again, making sure that's the right way, carefully pressing that down. Once you've done that, take your battery. As soon as you plug the battery in, the arm will start moving. it will do it again as long as it's plugged in okay once you're happy with that disconnect the battery carefully disconnect the connector and that completes this stage